So you get up in the morning to go fly, and you find out that your platinum is not working properly. So what do you do? Well, you call Agnab, and they say, update the software. And you're like, what? Today we're going to talk about how to update the Gear Platinum. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my browser and open it and type in agnav.com and then we will click on uh, Agnav Precision Guidance to open that up and I'm going to do a little trick. I'm going to make the window smaller and go to where it says secure left click and drag and drop it on my screen and that will be a shortcut to the Agnav website so you can easily go there and watch training videos or check on the latest news or check on the latest updates. So I will close this window and we will see if our shortcut works. Double click on it and it's opened up and then I'll make this wing, uh, window bigger. Go to support software updates and Gia Platinum and then we can click on the um, upgrade and then we'll save it and that'll save it into my download folder which is located on the C drive and we can go to view or we can go to the folder itself the download folder is tucked away a little bit, so we'll go into the C drive and look for the users folder, double click to open that, and go to genes, and there's a download folder right there. Everything that you download goes into that folder, and you can leave them there or you can clean them up and that's where our file is right there and if we double click we can open it up unzip it and the platinum won't see the zip file here's our update 2.1.2 and you have to be gpg is the correct file for the platinum so let me back up a little bit here If I um, right-click on my download folder and go send to desktop create a shortcut, I can click on that and it'll send a shortcut from the desktop straight to the download folder and then it's easy to see what's in there. And I've done that and I have the download folder right here so I can double click on it and it goes straight and open up and double click and it'll open up the file and that file has to go on a USB stick and load it into the platinum and just so you can remember the download folder you have to go to your C drive the user folder, the user name, and the download folder, and you'll find your files there. And it is a good idea to make a shortcut to that folder. Once you're into your download folder, you can right click on the update, send it to your USB, And once it gets on the USB, you'll have to open the file so that the Platinum can see it. You can unzip your folder in the download folder, but then you'll have to copy it and paste it on your USB stick. And either way, the Platinum will not see the zip, so you'll have to unzip it before you try and load it in. Also, if you have both windows open, the 
download folder and the USB drive, you can drag and drop the unzip file from the download folder to the USB stick and then um, you can put that in the Platinum and do your update. Once the files have transferred, then you're good to go. Well, we want to turn the key on, so we'll press the little button. And we have the files on our USB stick. So once it turns on, we, we can insert the stick. And it's going to come up to the home page. And we will select help on the home page. And help page, we will select software update. And on the software update page, we can do uh, internet if we have Wi-Fi, or we can do a USB stick. That's what we're going to do today. So we will insert the USB stick into the USB port, and then select update from USB key. And software start update. And it's copying and preparing the files. Yes. Remove USB and we'll restart. So we'll do that. And it's going to reboot. So we'll wait for that to take place. And it's going to come back to the home page with the uh, update successful, and we will select OK. That's it. Thank you very much.